creator she is a entrepreneur she is a professional she is a homemaker and she builds all the relationships so who other than miss jaya can express the creativity who herself is a mural artist namaskar ma'am i am jaya bhatia a mural artist uh, always aspired to be an artist since childhood but of course the things were different initially so couldn't actually start with some career in art but fortunately i was married to the i married to a defense officer and uh, traveling all over the country and i launched myself as an artist in 2004 and it's been 20 years there's been no no looking back so main bahut khush hu ki jo main karna chahti thi bachpan se wo main aaj kar payi hu और मैं एक मुकाम तक पहुंच गई हूँ जहाँ पे मैं अपने आप को एक करियर ओरिएंटेड कम होम मेकर मानती हूँ एवरी वुमेन सक्सेस शुड बी एन इंस्पिरेशन टू अदर्स एंड हु इज अदर देन हरिदा मेहता मैम कैन बी द एपिटोम ऑफ सक्सेस एंड वुमेन एंटरप्रिनशिप सो वी हैव विद अस हरिता मेहता मैम नमस्कार मैम नमस्कार हाई आई एम एडवोकेट हरिता मेहता एंड uh, मैं एक एन जी ओ भी चलाती हूँ विच इज नेम एज मे है चैरिटेबल सोसाइटी जिसका काम है क्राइम अगेंस्ट वुमेन एंड चाइल्ड और वो एन जी ओ ही मेरी बहुत बड़ी इंस्पिरेशन है कि मैंने इस प्रोफेशन को uh, एक वॉइस बनाया है फॉर अ वुमेन जो नहीं पहुँचा पाती हैं अपने आप को सोसाइटी में एंड लॉर्ड ऑफ हर्डल्स देर फेसिंग इन द फैमिलीज इन देर सोसाइटी तो उनकी एक आवाज़ बनना मुझे पसंद आया एंड आई है वहाँ से मुझे लगा कि नहीं यू नो वी नीड अ वॉइस फॉर अ वुमेन एंड सिंस देन लाइक माय आई एम रनिंग एन एन जी ओ विच इज कॉल एज मेहर चैरिटेबल सोसाइटी इट्स अ ब्लेसिंग टू मी एंड आई एम वर्किंग विद दिल्ली कमीशन फॉर वुमेन सिंस 2009 और इट्स लाइक क्राइम अगेंस्ट वुमेन एंड चाइल्ड तो वहाँ मुझे ये रियलिटी लगी कि देर आर सो मेनी वुमेन देर आर सो मेनी चिल्ड्रन देर आर सो मेनी गर्ल्स जो अपनी आवाज़ घर में भी नहीं उठा सकती बाहर की तो बात बात ही छोड़िए वेदर इट इज़ अ पुलिस स्टेशन और इट इज़ एनी वेयर एल्स नो वन इज देयर टू लिसन टू दैम सो आई स्टूड बाई दैम एंड द गवर्नमेंट पैनल्स हेल्प मी अलॉट आई रियली अप्रिशिएट एली कमीशन फॉर वुमेन फॉर दैट वहाँ पर एक अजीब सी मुझे ज़मीनी हकीकत पता चली हमारी वुमेन की स्टेटस की इस सोसाइटी में क्योंकि आई बिलोंग टू अ फैमिली वेयर माय हस्बैंड इज़ अ गजटेड ऑफिसर तो मैंने कभी इतना लो और इतना बैकवर्ड कभी फील ही नहीं किया था बट व्हेन आई स्टार्टेड लुकिंग इनटू द केसेस डेली दैट टुक मी टू वर्ड कि यू नो आई स्पेशली डू अ प्रो बोनोज फॉर मैनी वुमेन जिनकी जो अफोर्ड नहीं कर सकते हैं एंड दो देर इज डालसा which is a legal aid services from uh, the government but mujhe khud tha ki main unke liye apni matlab unki awaaz banu aur main unke liye fight karu unko karu support karu and aaj aisi bahut si mahilaye hain bahut si aisi ladies hain jo jinke liye main ek inspiration hu and they look forward to me they uh, any time uh, day or night kabhi bhi wo mujhe call karke uh, you know they feel to take a suggestion or something so from there my journey started that pinched me a lot the nirbhaya to wahan se meri journey start hui hai and uh, as i am today and for politics yes uh, politics mujhe uh, pinch kari during the covid time when i felt that waqai humanity is gone there were so many instances ki i will not say but yes there are many institutions hospitals ki jis treatment ka aap जिस बीमारी का आपके पास ट्रीटमेंट नहीं है वी आर चार्जिंग लैक्स ऑफ रुपीस गरीब लोगों का मेरी ऐसी महिलाएं थी जो मेरी एनजीओ में दोस्त हो कैन आई हेल्प एंड वर्क विद मैंने बहुत करीब से वो दर्द देखा सो आई थॉट दैट पॉलिटिक्स इज अ प्लेटफॉर्म वेयर आई कैन यू नो शाउट लाउड फॉर अ वुमेन एंड फॉर ह्यूमैनिटी वंडरफुल 
So Jayaman, being from a defense background and also, I mean, art is something where still uh, people are not very open to it taking up as a career. So what motivated you to become an artist and take up this as a profession? As I told that I always wanted to become an artist, but of course my parents didn't allow me to get into that profession because it was not a very money oriented, I would say, rather than anything else. So then uh, I got married and I did my MCOM and I started working with bank, city bank, and then I got married to, to a defense officer. And fortunately for me, he was posted as ADC to Governor of Gujarat, where he went for some exhibition and he was uh, he attended some exhibition of some artist and he came back home and he said, if you can also do something like that. So and that was the day I started my journey. And February 2004 was my first solo show in Ahmedabad, and since then it has been a wonderful journey. Yeah, so I've seen your uh, photos and articles in so many newspapers and it has been a delight to see you growing so wonderfully. So that has been a remarkable journey. So anything from your journey which you would want to share with viewers so that they uh, take up as a challenge and then they, they work towards it to grow themselves in a field which is not very easy for people to choose. So what will be your motivation for others? My motivation would be that, yes, of course, when I started working, my younger one was nine months old and I did my solo show that time. So it is nothing can stop you, women, nothing can stop you. Only thing what we have, I have worked full night for my paintings. I have, in the daytime, I have sent them to schools. I have, I have done all my household calls. But then, of course, back of mind, I always wanted to aspire something, so I did it. So anybody who's aspiring to actually uh, come into a profession from their passion, it takes time, it takes maybe few years, maybe more years, maybe five years, maybe 10 years, but of course, in the end, you become successful. And I'm sure success does not have a parameter, yes. same mm -hmm. parameter for everybody, yes, everybody yes. has a different parameter. Yes. It takes time, that's what I realized, it really takes time. Yeah. So, my personal values aapke, aapke professional uh, decisions ko kaise impact karte? Since your field is like that, personal value system, I'm sure hum log ka different hai. And professionally, uh, when you are winning a case or maybe politics, we always say that there is some downside to it in a negative influence. So, aap wo kaise balance karte hai? See, it is how you represent yourself to the world. Whether it is a courtroom or it is politics, my uh, agenda is to be very truth, very outspoken and very clear to my points. So, a time aata hai when uh, people, whether they are male, female or in, whatever the field is, they come to know about your nature. So, my true nature is ki I'm very open, very blunt and I don't take any negativity. So, it is very easy for me to balance because my introduction is as such. People say that I'm a little high-headed, I'm adamant or something, but I take it as a compliment because that's what I am. I'm very uh, high-headed for my throat. I speak loud. So, Jayama, work-life balance, how important it is for you? Because when a woman is working, uh, this is the biggest struggle and biggest problem because the, the uh, time commitment towards your children, towards your home, is unending and same is with the professional front obviously to succeed you have to give your 100 percent even more than that yeah. if, if there is a benchmark then you have to cross that also yeah. so how do you manage that what is the experience that you would want to share how did you achieve that fortunately uh, when the kids were small we were in gandhi nagar and we had a decent uh, size bungalow so the space and constraints were not there, but I guess yet the kids were very small. So we had good domestic help. Still I used to work full night and uh, later on slowly, slowly the kids grew up. So now I have my own studio in garage. So the best part is the garage is my studio and uh, the, my work area is hardly two minutes from my actual home. 
So it has become very easy for me to make my work-life balance and the support from my family has been immense on that part. So when I am working in my studio, generally they generally don't disturb unless and until there is something uh, emergency in the house. But otherwise uh, things touch wood have been very great for me because of their support and domestic helps. And they have been my pillar of strength. My domestic helps have been my pillar of strength because if they are not there, I don't know how to manage because we have a lot of social life also in our fraternity. So that's how it has been. So beautifully you have utilized your uh, support networks. Yes. Uh, but Jaya ma'am, still uh, the children in their growing phase require a lot of attention, emotional support, and there is a guilt which every working woman or mother has in her heart that whatever time she is giving, she, she finds it not enough or maybe uh, there is always a lack that she feels maybe I can do better kar paati ya kar paang. So has uh, this kind of an experience been your journey as well? Did you feel something of that sort while you were raising your kids and how did you cope up with it and what message do you want to give to other young women who are working and have children and they are also at times filled with guilt that hum wo time encroach karke yahan de rahe and that's the juggle always in their heart actually i had not faced that kind of thing because i was working from home always oh wonderful. so that has been my uh, best uh, this thing so whenever i have more work i get uh, all the canvases in the living room and i start working then and the kids were study so i was always there for them so that has been there but uh, yes of course work life balance for everybody is a different way for me it was different and uh, fortunately kids uh, being uh, in defense forces they have been very uh, kind i would say they very adapting nature they have so they kept uh, we kept shifting houses they kept uh, shifting schools but fortunately they were doing well in their studies and of course i was supporting them in their studies but uh, I never faced that actual problem of uh, kids who are getting ignored, but I because I never ignored them. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful, yeah. So, Harika ma'am, life has been really complex for you from one role switching to the other role, then being a mother. Obviously, I've seen you as a mother as, as well, so attached with your daughter. So, how have you coped up with the challenges? Because I'm sure you were never at home, mom. You you had to go into the field, you had to go to the courtroom, and it's the toughest battle, I must say. And kudos to you for doing it so beautifully, but we would like viewers to understand your journey. See, it is up to you. You should have some limitations. My limitations are like I will work till 5 pm, okay. not beyond that, no matter what. My if I have um, my daughters, I have, I'm a blessed, I have two blessed daughters and uh, what I feel is that they need equivalent uh, time of mine, the, my, as much my profession wants it. So, I haven't done anything plan nahi kiya hai. and what you feel is, what I have observed in my life is that you want to be like that, you want to be like that, you want to mold the life, ho. you mold the life accordingly. So I have never neglected my daughters. Saturday, Sundays are fixed for them. Their studies are under my supervision. And after 5 p.m. I'm totally for my daughters. Mm -hmm. So before that I finish my work. This is my rule. And after they go to bed, then I take up my files and uh, you know I go through it for my next day's matters. So I balance it very nicely. And your nature becomes your aura and that's how the time helps you, the world helps you out. Yes, and I've seen you as a very spiritual person also. So your personal value system, I know, I'm sure it must be reflecting everywhere. Right, like, like you rightly said that what you are inside, you just exhibit that same in your professional front. Your aura also. becomes like that, yeah. you know, and uh, things automatically start happening according to you. Yeah, beautifully said, ma'am. So uh, we believe that life should always have continuous learning. And there should be an adaptability which you yourself have shown in your career. So, how do you reflect all of that in your achievements? How do you ensure that you are regularly learning new things? So, um, something related to that we would want to understand. How do you reflect upon the achievements related to the learning and adaptability in your uh, everyday life? You should have more greed, you know. 
achievement say don't get high head don't get it that you have achieved this so this is the end no i want more so go for more goods go for more um, things which what i feel is my, one my once my professor said the more you uh, go deeper into the ocean the more uh, gems and uh, you will have the things upar upar float karoge to you will have just upar ka jo kachra hota you know mm-hmm. so just go deeper into the life the more depth the more gems so this is what is my feeling is ki aapka koi bhi subject whether it's your family matters it's your profession or it's you yourself first of all work on yourself aap apne itne deep jao ki aapko khud hi pata chal jayega that what where you you are standing for the world for your family and you portrait that na because aap main agar aaj apne aap ko weak manungi to wohi mera aura ban jayega my family will consider me a weaker person my society will consider me a weaker person which i am not so that is what is my reflection towards myself first is ki i go deep into myself and i come out what i am and i feel ki that's what you get the response from the society and your family friends so uh, jaya ma'am from you we would want to understand diversity aapne bahut dekhi from one city yeah. to another city how did you include everything in your diverse uh, experience that you get and how do you adapt to this change changing from one house to other changing from uh, friends and from bonds that you create to a completely new place and then settling there uh, and then obviously professionally also it it is a shift you create a connect and then you mm. have to recreate that connect somewhere else so how do you include all of that diversity is a part and parcel of uh, i think all transferable jobs or uh, government uh, in government this thing so being in defense the exposure to life has been absolutely different the wherever we shift sometimes we get one bedroom house sometimes we get three bedrooms house sometimes we don't get a house help sometimes we don't get old friends a single old friend there but we as families we adjust according to the environment there that's i mean it i don't i don't think so we face any as such any problem of course you are shifting states your the culture is different the environment is different language issues are there like you posted in kerala you get language issues but slowly 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 you start adjusting into that and you start loving that life my work has evolved in different places uh, in a different manner like i started from gujarat and then i moved to mumbai and then mumbai was a different uh, style of work which was preferred by the customers and finally in kerala was different but kerala maybe it was slightly difficult for me there because uh, because i don't i don't i didn't get actually much of my work there so i started studying there and i did my interior designing and i was a gold medalist in that Beautiful. So after that, when we came to Delhi, I diversified from actually oil paintings and uh, pottery. Mainly, I was doing that till then to mural marble dust up work, and which has now become my forte. And I am actually, uh, if in little terms, I am actually really becoming more and more mature in my work in last twenty years with. all that experience and all that uh, changes of stations and places yeah thank you so much jaya ma'am so halda ma'am everybody uh, is doing a similar work i mean i'm sure there are so many lawyers there are so many politicians what is your innovation how halta ma'am is different from everybody else i made a very simple choice in life one day i was sitting i was thinking about the circumstances going around me i just opt for one thing ki whether i want to live with fear or with faith so i chose faith and deleted fear from my life so Beautiful. that is the mantra of my life which i'll convey to my all other uh, female friends that please believe in yourself and keep faith in yourself as well as on god almighty because fear ki agar jagah nahi rakhoge to hi aap aage ja sakte ho otherwise so it's a full stop once read that fear and faith mein se ek hi cheez reh sakti hai agar dar hoga to faith definitely strong nahi hoga so jaya ma'am uh, i want to understand from you creativity ka inspiration kahan se aata hai aapko how do you create things how do you get inspiration ki aaj mujhe kuch naya banana hai 
इंस्पिरेशन के लिए आई थिंक गॉड इज मेड सच सो ब्यूटिफुल थिंग्स इन द वर्ल्ड गॉड्स क्रिएशन आर द मोस्ट आई वुड से इंस्पिरेशनल things available in nature yes certainly but yes definitely when i get a order from a customer then it has to be a customized work according to their requirement so once they are clear with what actually they want and then i actually mold it into my own thought process and i create an image which is actually uh, when they are comfortable with and i feel that it will look better if it is done this way so that is how it goes on that was a beautiful inspiring uh, conversation with two beautiful women we have harita mehta ma'am with us today and we have jaya ma'am with us today and it was a all inspiring moment talking to them and understanding how they have achieved such a wonderful thing in their short span of journey thank you so much for being Welcome. with us thank you so much